for today's video, we're going to make peanut butter clusters. Okay. Or chocolate peanut butter clusters. Now, you'll need mini, you'll need two bags of mini real semi-sweet chocolate morsels. One cup, approximately one cup of peanut butter. Yeah, approximately one cup of peanut butter and dry roasted peanuts. Okay. Saucer. You'll need a saucer and a and a big spoon and a no little spoon. tiny spoon like that and, and scissors. Okay. And the crock pot. And the crock pot. That's right. Okay, so you're going to open the bag. Open the bag of real semi-sweet chocolate morsels. Actually, both of them. With a pair of scissors. And now next, you'll use the... Dry roasted peanuts. And unsalted is best. And unsalted is best. And then next no, you'll do. This is gonna be oh. That may be the peanut, but the, the peanuts and the chocolate chips has to stay in the crock pot on low for two to three hours until it's melted. Okay. After that, you're going to need uh, two or three um, wax lined cookie sheets. Gotta wait two to three hours uh, stirring the peanuts and chocolate occasionally. So can I pause it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna pause it. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Mom is now stirring the peanut butter clusters. Mm. Not melted yet. And it's not melted yet. Then what it looks like so far. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so. I'm going to grab the little spoon. I'm scraping that off. Okay, can I pause it? Uh -huh. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back again. We're having to start it again. I want one more stir, stir before we put the peanut butter in it. Okay, now this is part two of peanut, peanut butter clusters. No, chocolate or peanut clusters. Yeah, chocolate chocolate what chocolate covered peanut clusters okay so it's chocolate covered peanut clusters now right now we're adding how much about is about a cup about a cup of peanut butter and stirring it in and then we'll stir it in so right now mom is adding the peanut butter into the crock pot. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. Sorry, I had to. What? I had to like 
my, I had to put this part two because my first part one, I was going to do it as a full video except my tablet ran out of space. So I think I cleared enough apps and pictures and videos to like, uh, like, to like, have enough space for my cameras. Okay, and I've got 2.7 gigs left from all the apps and pictures I've deleted. Okay, so. Let this sit for a little bit and then I'll make the clusters. No. Oh, I think I accidentally zoomed it in. <laughs> so. Here are the peanut butter cluster. In the pot. Or in the crock pot. Hmm. Okay. I'll pause the video and then we'll be... I'll pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Yeah. We're back right now. So we're going, we're going to get ready to put the peanut clusters right in here with the, with the wax paper. Okay. So this part you have to use the scissors too, I believe. So, we already got one started. We have to use that little spoon, not this spoon. We use this spoon to mix it up. So we add another in. We set this down like this. Okay, so you can see how mom is grabbing the chocolate and peanut butter cluster mix from the from the crock pot to the wax paper with the pan. After when this is all completed you can put your peanut butter clusters in the freezer, I think. Yeah, in the freezer. And when it's done with the freezers, you can go ahead and enjoy your peanut butter clusters. How many minutes does it take for them to freeze? About 30 minutes. So, it takes about 30 minutes for the peanut butter clusters to freeze. So, so I think you put... How many on that? How many on that? I don't know exactly. We don't know exactly how many you put on that. It Think varies. What? It varies. Yeah. So. And then put them in the freezer. Still thinking about. I wonder 
wonder how many minutes this video is going to be. <clears throat> no. Pause it. Okay, well, pause it. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back. Now, we finished with that pan. We got a second pan ready to put some more peanut butter clusters on there. Okay, so we'll put this. We'll put these peanut butters in the freezer for 30 minutes. And they should be frozen. Okay, so it's going in the freezer right now. Okay, so now we got the second pan. We're going to do exactly the same thing with this one. And, yeah, knew it. I knew it. You have to do the scissors with this wax paper. Okay. You don't have to, but it's easier. Oh, you don't have to, but it's m easier to do it this way. So, we got the wax paper over there. And here is the wax paper for a pan. Okay, can I pause it now? Okay, so I'm gonna pause it. We'll be right back. Okay, I had to start another part, part three. Now, this, right now, we're gonna loosen these off of the wax paper. Yeah, off of the wax paper. Hold on. There. Okay. So we're loosening them up from the wax paper, and then we'll put them in a bag. So we'll put them in this bag right here. And plus, these are our peanut butter clusters. We might, yeah. Will it be freezer or fridge this time? Hmm? Freezer or fridge this time? Freezer. We'll put these back into the freezer so they can stay frozen. Stay hard. Or stay hard. So, yeah. After that, you might want to wash your hands, okay. probably. So, would this be the end of the video? So, there, there are your peanut butter clusters. Let's try one. You can't put it over on the U. So, this is the end of today's video. So, goodbye!